Seattle in the 1920s was a rough place. Prohibition was the law, but there was plenty of bootlegging. Corruption was rampant and voters were fed up. In 1926, they did something extraordinary. They elected Seattle's first female mayor, Bertha Knight Landis. She was also the first woman to lead a major U.S. city. She came in on this kind of housekeeping. She actually called it uh, municipal housekeeping. Uh, it was a big part of her, um, was what she called her, her platform. Landis pledged to clean up Seattle. She wanted more orderly urban planning, better public health, and a tougher police force. In a letter to the chief, she wrote, citizens are seriously disturbed over the lack of law enforcement in this city. Bootlegging and gambling are carried on openly and apparently with no fear of the consequences. Landis later fired him. Seattle was growing incredibly quickly at, at this time. It was another time when people were wondering where would all the people moving here live. It was a time where big companies were moving in. Landis administration kept the city's finances in order, expanded the park system, and improved city light. Here we have Historians like Dr. Dave of, Unger, uh, the director of curatorial services at Mohai, view Landis' time in office as honest and scandal-free, yet she was not re-elected. I think all through her time in office, she really struggled with uh, the expectation, the, the idea uh, in the broader culture that uh, it just wasn't a job for a woman, and no matter what she did, she was constantly fighting against, against that. She lost to Frank Edwards in 1928. The Seattle Times wrote in an editorial that it was easily within the power of Seattle women to strengthen their hold on city politics by re-electing Mrs. Landis. They have not seen fit to do this. Nearly a century later, Seattle's still a fast-growing place with some big problems, and voters appear ready to once again select a woman to confront a new era of challenges. Ted Land, King 5 News.